you know, one of the most important questions is, is, is what are two things that we could do as business owners within this business to make it better for you? Incentivizing the employee, right? Understanding the people you're working with and really getting to know them. Um, what are some things that you would recommend business owners, um, maybe some tools or some activities they can do with their employees to really understand what motivates them? Because not everyone is motivated by money. Um, for example, let's, uh, I'll just use myself as an example. I value my time more than money any day of the week, any day of the week. If you give me an extra two days, I value that f way further than any dollar amount you could give me. Um, so what are some things that you learned along the way to get to know the people you're working with and really be able to provide them as much value as possible? Absolutely. That's a great question. Um, we came up with personal employee vision boards. So, and what we really did in those 90 day reviews was make sure that we had the same questions each time, but it was, where do you see yourself in one year? And where do you see yourself in 10 years? There's a lot of things that can, that can change within that time. And that 10 year vision is how we came up with vision boards, right? Some people had, you know, a family, some people had, I want to have, you know, this is what my girlfriend's going to look like. You know, visualization and manifestation is something that, you know, us as entrepreneurs, if you focus on that, you will get what you want because it's called, it's called the art of auto suggestion and, and doing that visualization and manifestation in your brain actually allows you to train your subconscious mind to look for the things that you want, right? So once we understood where they wanted to be in 10 years, right? Like my, my guy wanted to buy a house. That was part of his 10 year plan. Two and a half years later, he bought his house, right? Like I was like blown away, you know? And, and you know, he had two kids, he had a wife, he really needed to, uh, law of attraction, uh, yes, um, it's actually a uh, law. Well, the law of success, uh, is another one. And then, uh, think and grow rich is another book. So anything by Napoleon Hill, uh, that you guys know, but, uh, the law of success has 15 laws in it. I call it the, the personal development Bible because it's literally like 700 pages. Uh, but it will go through, uh, a ton of that. Um, and, and really help you understand, you know, auto suggestions, training your subconscious mind, because our subconscious mind is trained to look for the easiest path rather than trained to look for the things that we want. So we really have to be intentional about how we go about it. So asking the, asking everybody in our, on our team in those 90 day reviews, what's changed. And then also you know, one of the most important questions is, is, is what are two things that we could do as business owners within this business to make it better for you? We always want to know that. I want to know that if you can't take feedback, like it's going to be really tough for you to keep your guys around because this is their livelihood just as much as it is yours, just because you started the business and took the risk. Now your purpose is to serve them as their leader. It's not for them to serve you as an employee. It's for you to serve them as a leader because the two most important things you need to have a successful company and get to an exit is sales and leadership. I mean, I literally have it behind me. It reminds me every day. There's a difference between being a boss and a leader. And are you out there showing them how it's done? You're getting your hands dirty. Are you, are you becoming that person who's too good, too good for it?